When the fizz goes out of the economy and fears of a recession bubble up, should companies cut back on advertising? Coca-Cola didn't flinch in 2022 when that hypothetical turned into a reality. It doubled down on ad spending toward the year's end. That move paid off. The company reported that net sales increased 11% year over year. The focus on advertising is nothing new for the drink giant. It's navigated the ups and downs of the world's economy since 1892. The company even debuted its famous Santa Claus Coke ad in the depths of the Great Depression in 1931. And while we're not facing anything so drastic as a depression, economic growth is slowing, and the word recession keeps slipping into the conversation. So if there is a recession looming, should advertisers slow down or keep calm and carry on campaigning? Back in the 1920s, two companies dominated packaged breakfast cereal in America, Kellogg and Post. When the Great Depression hit, Post rolled back its ad spending to cut costs. But its rival Kellogg saw an opportunity. It doubled its ads budget, investing heavily in radio to promote its new cereal, Rice Krispies, starring Snap, Crackle, and Pop. By 1933, its profits rose by 30%. In the early version of the cereal wars, Kellogg was the clear winner, even as the depression lingered. Fast forward 50 years, during the 1973 recession, Toyota maintained its ad budget, while others cut back. By 1976, it had become the number one imported car maker in America, knocking Volkswagen from the top spot. When consumers start to feel the pinch, brands are inclined to offer deals and discounts. That's exactly what happened in the 1990 through 1991 recession when Taco Bell introduced its new value meals. It beefed up its ad spend, launching campaign spots to promote its new menu. Hard to believe it was 89 cents for a chili cheese burrito. That move helped boost its sales by 40%. At the same time, a rather famous burger chain cut its ad spend and saw sales decline by 28%. During the dark days of the Great Recession in 2009, Amazon grew sales by 28% by pushing its relatively new Kindle product, grabbing market share in the soon-to-boom e-reader market. That Christmas, customers bought more e-books than printed books for the first time ever. Numerous studies support these examples. In 2008, research company Millward Brown found that 60% of brands that went dark during an economic downturn, that is, with no TV ad spend for six months, saw brand use decrease 24% and brand image decrease 28%. For savvy advertisers, recessions have proved opportunities for long-term brand building and the chance to gain market share. After all, every recession ends. On average, they run about 17 months, but can end sooner, and dormant consumers will surely spend again. Such a strategy paid off for Airbnb, as it positioned itself post-pandemic as a platform for vacation discovery and experiences. Meanwhile, new digital channels allow budget-conscious marketers to reach consumers across different platforms, from their phones, to the TV in their living room, to the digital screen at the supermarket or metro station. Here, different tactics may apply, especially for essentials like clothes, medicine, and food. From price cuts, to business promotion, to broader messaging that highlights the brand's values. Recession marketing calls for campaigns that are sensitive to the prevailing reality, so understanding recession psychology is vital. A Harvard Business Review study found that new customer segments emerge during a downturn. They have little to do with traditional age gender demographics and run the gamut from those who slam on the brakes to others who live for today. Consumers also become more price sensitive and less brand loyal during hard times. Smart marketers have to get strategic while staying true to their values. The pandemic created a unique sense of anxiety for consumers. When the demand for cleaning products surged in 2020, Clorox stepped up and boosted ad spending 30%. Reassuring TV spots offered practical advice to help consumers stay healthy and kept its brand visible to foster loyalty. Advertisers are getting strategic about those ad dollars because they're working under tighter budgets. For Procter & Gamble, the economic downturn in 2022 helped focus its priorities. We are actively shifting our spending from linear, non-targeted TV into programmatic and into digital spend that is a lot more targeted and a lot more precise in terms of delivering reach, said Procter & Gamble's CFO, Andre Schulten. Every recession stirs up the marketing mix. After the Great Depression, newspapers lost share of ad spend to radio, and magazine was the winner. And again, after the 2008 recession, print media declined as digital media flourished. 
or old newsprint just can't catch a break. In 2023, the media mix is changing again. Digital ad spend is estimated to grow to over $278 billion, up 12% over 2022, a figure that factors in a possible recession. Whether or not a recession hits, evidence suggests that brands that invest in advertising fare better during a downturn. The rest is history. Thank you.